go. Hi, this is Fritz Westover with Westover Viticulture, and we're in a Cabernet Sauvignon vineyard coming into its third leaf. Uh, the first year we were able to get a trunk. It was trimmed here just below the head wire. The second year we, we grew about four or five shoots out and had a small crop on this vine. So this year it's our time to select cordon. So we're going to find good sized wood that's a little bit better than pencil size that's coming out and onto the wire and remove all the wood that we don't need. So over here I've got a good uh, sized shoot that's coming out and will bend down nicely to the wire. So I'm going to remove everything below that. And then I'm going to select the length of that cordon to be laid down. And remember we don't want to lay down more than about six or seven buds per year, or about an elbow to a fist when we're extending our cordons. We also want to make sure that we leave a bud in a downward direction to continue that cordon. On this side we have two options. I'm going to go with the higher road here, I think, and try and bend that down, take the lower position off. There's no wrong answer here, as long as the wood's good quality. So you've just got to make a decision at some point, and don't be afraid to bend those cordons down. I'll trim approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buds here up to the post. And next year I'll extend this cordon another eight inches to fill in that wire. We'll use two ties for that and uh, we'll have approximately 15 shoots on this vine and up to 20 clusters in its third leaf, maybe about three tons an acre.